I found the coolest question ever. It's based on a guy by the name of Heron or Heron. I guess it depends on what syllable you put your accent on, huh? Okay, anyways. Now, what's interesting about Heron's formula is he came up with this idea for the area of a triangle. That's his formula for the area of a triangle. And I know you're saying, well, isn't area of a triangle base times height divided by two? It is when they give you the actual height. Here, they did not give you the height, and they didn't give you enough information to figure the height out. So along comes Heron with his beautiful formula, and his formula is right here. Now, if you look at this, it says S, S minus A, S minus B, S minus C. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What is A, B, C? A, B, C are the sides, They're the side lengths. So you actually can call this guy A, you can call this one over here B, and you call this one over here C. Good enough, Ski, right? But what is this S that I see here? Ah, well, that's what this guy comes in. S means to add all of these sides together. Okay, 16 plus 14 plus 14 and divide the whole lot by 2. Okay, 16 and 14 is 30 plus 14 more. That's 44 divided by 2. S is 22. Perfect. Okay, that's your S. Lovely. Now, let's go use the formula now. Okay, square root of 22. Now, it says right here, 22 minus A. Well, A is 16. So go 22 minus 16. The next one would be, ah, 22 minus B. Well, there's B. Okay, 22 minus 14. And the last one would be, oh, again, S minus C, which would be, 22 minus C, and C is again, oh, look at that, it's 14. Now, we can clean this up quite a bit, right? I'm going to leave the 22 out here, right? But I know that 22 minus 16, wait a second, isn't that just 6? Well, of course it is. 22 minus 14, oh, well, that's got to be 8, and check that out, that's going to be 8 as well. Lovely. Okay, now I've reduced this. Now, read the rest of the question. The question says, use Heron's formula to calculate the area of the triangle as an entire radical and a radical in simplest form. Whoa, whoa, whoa. what does radical in simplest form mean? That means it's got to be mixed. Oh, it's the mixed radical, so the ones with the numbers up front. Got it. No problem. I can do that. Well, you know what? Let's find the entire radical first which just basically means multiply this whole puppy together. Oh my goodness, this should look interesting. So we've got 22 times 6 times 8 times 8. Okay, 22 times 6 times 8 times 8. There it is. Look at that number, 8,448. Woo, 8448. Well, let's go put it back in here. 8448, that would be the entire area of that triangle in radical form almost remember this is area and i gave you a unit watch out area units are squared that's the right answer don't get burnt you did so much work just to get down to there and not put the units down oh come on now okay now how are we going to break this down into a, yeah, you got it, into a mixed radical. Well, here's where people make mistakes again. They start from here. They go, 8, 4, 4, 8, and all oh, that's even. I'm going to divide that by 2, and 2 times 7. They're going to divide that by 2. And Now, wait a second. Hold on. It's broken down right here. Just use that. And I know what you're saying. Seriously? I can use it? Yeah. Save yourself a whole bunch of time. Look, there's 22. There's 6, that's 8 times 8. Look at this. Was that not 8, 4, 4, 8? Yeah, it was. It's already partially broken down for you. Watch how fast this works now. Check this out. Ha ha! There is 2 times 11. Then there's 6 is 2 times 3. But wait a second. Isn't that a pair already? So why break that down anymore? You've got a pair. Don't break it down anymore. Okay, so find the other pair. So leave this as 8 times 8. There's a pair. You're going to use that. Okay, so here's a pair right there. Okay, so pull that out. There's your 2. 
There's your pair of eights. But a boom, right? And look what's left. 11 and 3. Back under the radical you go. Perfect. Now check this out. 11 times 3 and 2 times 8. Well, 2 times 8 is 16. 11 times 3 is 33. That's 16 root 33 centimeters squared. See, you don't always have to go back to this original number. If they've got it broken down for you already because of the process of this question, why waste your time? That's a shortcut. You got to be pretty smart and pretty quick to pick that up. But boy, will that save you a lot of time. Cool question, eh?